Queen about the homeless situation in Waipahu after a major nonprofit that provided outreach in the area closed its doors. Eddie Dowd reports. One of the areas of focus for outreach workers with Achieve Zero and the city was this canal here in Waipahu where just a year ago there was a village of homeless camps down there. The concern is that with Achieve Zero leaving that this canal will go back to what it once was. In November of 2022, H&N's cameras documented people going in and out of the canal. Items like sofas and other living room furniture seen lying on the canal floor. Since H&N's reporting, outreach to the area ramped up. But now one of the largest nonprofits that did outreach in central Oahu announcing it shut down operations on November 27th. In a press release, Achieve Zero saying, quote, Despite our best efforts, we were unable to successfully navigate the challenging landscape and financial challenges that nonprofits face in the work that we do, end quote. There are now concerns that this part of the island could see its homeless situation worsen. It's definitely still a problem, and it's, and it's potentially getting worse. Leah Thorne says she used to be homeless herself during the COVID-19 pandemic and recently started the nonprofit Aloha State Outreach to focus on reaching the unsheltered in central Oahu. She's concerned with Achieve Zero shutting down. It hurts the level of trust between those unsheltered and outreach workers like herself. You have to come back every day. If that's what you say that you're going to do, you have to. Those concerns have reached the head of Honolulu EMS, who met us in Waipahu. He told us he's planning to send his core team that does a lot of homeless outreach in places like Waikiki and Chinatown and expand their service to central Oahu. Here in Waipahu, uh, since we have lost Achieved Zero now, um, we're going to have to come out here more. Even during our interview, we spotted a man walking along the canal. He told us he was without housing and slept in a park nearby. How are you? You okay? So you, so you see the possibility of this place becoming overrun with camps? It's always possible, and that's why if we don't have the nonprofit that's going to focus on this area, CORE has got to step in and do it. And even though CORE will be expanding to Waipahu, officials say they need help from the public to be their eyes and ears. That would be appreciated, and we have the hotline on how to do that on our website. Reporting in Waipahu, Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now.